We have continuing coverage on what is happening along Erie's Bayfront. The question tonight, what should be done to enhance safety for everyone visiting Dobbins Landing, the hotels, the restaurants right along the waterfront? And the story we first reported Monday about bad behavior bubbling up there, getting plenty of attention now. Our Lisa Adams is back with part two of her look at the issue. And Lisa, City Council, the Port Authority, and regular visitors all weighing in. Good evening. That's right. Yesterday we heard the take from police and waterfront business owners, but from my digging today, it's clear that Erie City Council and the Port Authority and visitors are all aware of the problem and eager to find solutions. We showed you the bad behavior through the lens of an Uber driver's dash cam, congregating crowds, fights, loud music, drinking, and worse. City Council Public Safety Liaison Susanna Faulkner told me she'll take the issue to Council's caucus Wednesday to talk solutions. We recognize that it's been a consistent issue through the pandemic. Uh, we need to protect our dock, ensure there's a safe space for, for residents and tourists alike. And so improving things around public works like lighting um, as well as security that's there will be a key concern in our meeting tomorrow. Regular visitors here to Dobbins Landing tell me they have noticed it too, a change in the types of people gathering and the types of activities going on, especially after dark. They're all in favor of ideas like improving lighting and adding more security to keep things the way they used to be. Definitely the lighting because things don't like going on when there's too much lighting. When it's dimmer, you bring on the devilment. And then with the police presence, they won't have that much more of a problem. Them two things right there is a plus. Jeffrey Vactor comes to Dobbins Landing to feed the ducks and Canada geese. He wants to keep this a peaceful place. There's peace down here. But see, like I said, without the lighting and the patrolling, you're gonna have Mainly the young folks to come down, they drink, that, fight, <laughs> cuss, loud music. It's got to come to an end. Susanna Faulkner says it will take City Council collaborating with the Port Authority and Public Works to find the best path forward, and she's promising to take a closer look. So I think it's our job as well as elected officials to be down and check out the spaces. Um, so this weekend, I'm going to do my best to get down there over the weekend and just really understand the situation better. Both yesterday and today, I reached out to Port Authority Executive Director Martin Lamar. He got back to me today, told me the authority recognizes there is an issue and will be taking steps to address it along with local law enforcement and their own private security company. He talked about adding signage, alleviating traffic, and working to eliminate any activity that harms the experience of others. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.